everyone, I'm Mr. Joe, and I work in the Children's Department at the Library Center. Did you know that the theme of our summer reading program this year is Imagine Your Story? Do you like to make your own stories? Well, I want to invite you all to join the library's Imagine Your Song Songwriting Challenge. For thousands and thousands of years, songs have been a way for people to tell stories. Now you get to write your song to tell your story. This songwriting challenge is for kids going into kindergarten to third grade and their families. Starting June 13th, each Saturday, we'll share a new prompt. and You all can follow along and write your own songs. Then, with a grown-up's help, you can record a video or write down the words and take a picture to send us. You don't have to play an instrument or be an incredible singer to participate. Today, I'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. Everyone will be writing songs in no time. Let's do it. We're going to look at the two important parts of a song, the words and the melody. We'll start with the words. Lots and lots of songs use rhyming words. Have you heard of rhyming words? Words that rhyme share the same ending sound. Cat rhymes with hat, book rhymes with look. In songs, you can have some pretty silly rhymes, and they don't always have to rhyme perfectly. Let's try out some rhymes. Here's one you probably know. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Did you hear the rhyming words? Star rhymes with R. High rhymes with sky. Let's try something else I just made up. Sam saw a snake. Snake said, I'm sorry. Sorry if I scared you. Sorry if you're startled. Did you hear rhyming words that time? That one's a little different. Sorry kind of rhymes with startled, but in songs, that's okay if you like the way it sounds. Let's try another silly one. I like to play the guitar. I like to play the guitar. I like to play the guitar. Did you hear rhyming words that time? That time I made up some sounds to rhyme with the word guitar. The words you use and the rhymes you make are totally up to you. Just look around you or think about how you feel and I'm sure you'll find some great words. You could even borrow words from a book or a fairy tale you like. Now what about the melody? Well, the melody is the way you sing the words. The way you can sing higher and lower. Let's try out a melody you already know. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well, you might know that's the same melody as this song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P. Can you hear how the words are different, but the melodies are the same? That's what we'll be doing with our prompts, taking melodies and adding our own words to make new songs. You want to practice writing a song now? Well, let's say I want to write a song about my life. You know, I was just thinking about eating a snack. Yesterday I had an apple for a snack. Maybe I'll eat something different today. Do you think that could be in our song? Let's try it. We'll take our melody from before. Twinkle, twinkle. Now let's add our story about eating a snack. I ate an apple yesterday it was green and tasted great think 
got eaten orange today. Don't want to eat apples every day. Now we just wrote a new song. I took a melody we all know, Twinkle Twinkle, and I used a story from my life. I think it's an alright song, but I bet you guys can do something way cooler. You know, there's words for songs all around us in the foods you eat, outside when you go for a walk, in books and fairy tales. I'm sure you'll pick out some awesome words for your songs. And I hope you'll join our Imagine Your Songs Songwriting Challenge. Check back on Saturday, June 13th for your first prompt. I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you soon.